Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am said Psychic Medium. A few quick announcements before we get started. Um, I guess I'm supposed to promote myself at the beginning of the show, and I'm really bad at it, and I never, ever do it. So, okay, Psychic Medium, this girl, um, hypnotist, this girl, healer, this girl, author of six, seven? Seven books, this girl. Okay, there's my intro. Here we go. Uh, for today's show, as with every single show, mm -hmm, every single show, um, I'm going to be taking callers from the call log and answering questions from people online who are watching me live on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I say us because... All your peeps are here already, and it's craziness. <laughs> like, okay, so first of all, there's a song that's been in my head since I uh, logged on, and it's um, it's that song, One Night in Bangkok, One Night in Bangkok Can Make a Tough Man Tumble, A Rough Man Tumble, uh... One night in Bangkok. If you know the song, you know. You you know. I mean, it's like, <laughs> you know. Okay, I'm going to go straight up into the ethers and let you know who's here for you. So coming in strong from the other side is Mary. Now, the names I say, they could be the name of the person on the other side. They could be your name. Or it could be for somebody you know, but who's whatever name is coming through. Typically, it's it's they're either saying hey to you or it's their name. So Mary is the first name coming through, and um, and J Janet, Janet is coming through, and then then um, Janet is singing a song, whoever knows Janet, or if you're Janet and this is for you, um, that song, every little thing is going to be all right. <laughs> is that the, it's so ironic for my day, but is that the don't worry, be happy song? Because if it is, I just can't right now. I just, oh, twink. Shutting that down. It's that Jamaican, maybe Bob Marley, uh, every little thing is going to be all right. Okay. And then the next person on the other side is, that is coming through or wants to come through for somebody here, their name is Bob, and they want to tell you um, that song, it's like a... Uh, Moving on, uh, moving on. I, I don't know. I can't even get the beat of that song. Everybody knows I can't sing, so sorry about that. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to quit the songs right now, and we're going to quit the um, people from the other side, and I am going to be taking callers. When I call your area code, please let me know your name and your um, <clears throat> your first name and where you are calling from. And I will, and then have a specific question or connection to a loved one on the other side. If you'd like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Genevieve, hi, love. How are you? So on, on the chat, we have um, Margaret. Hey, Margaret. Welcome to the show, Genevieve. Uh, Heather's here. Um, Vaughn. Mimi Ann, uh, blah, 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 Mimi. Okay, and then Genevieve. Okay, as people come in, I'm going to say hi to them. It's just the right thing, decent, respectful thing to do. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? Okay, you guys, so a, a couple things. Anne, Anne has been um, having some complications with her landlord, so I'm going to clear any compl complications with her landlord. And Anne, I just want you to know, a couple of things. First of all, if your landlord is in any way being toxic, or disrespectful, or ab especially abusive to you, you can use your phone and record those conversations 
and that will justify a relocation for you, okay? I know sometimes we feel powerless in situations, especially when the government is involved in those situations. We just have to use our resources that we have to try to help us get out of situations that are not healthy for us. Um, and that's that's what I can say for that. Uh, hey, Todd, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Um, and, and just start recording those conversations. If you don't have, almost everybody has record on your phone. If you don't, you can download an app for free. And anytime your landlord starts to do anything, just, you know, secretly record it. Uh, don't let your landlord know. They might get very angry with you. And then also... Um, Try to get everything in writing and no verbal face-to-face -face communication. That's just what most people would do in this situation. Um, so they didn't have to deal with a very toxic and very abusive person that stressed them out and and was or was in some way harming them emotionally or psychologically. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, everybody. And I'm sorry that you're going through that, Anne. I, I do hope it gets better. Okay, again, if you have a question and you're on YouTube and you want to post that question, please, by all means, um, post it. And again, Anne, you know, just record everything secretly record everything. Um, if he's always fighting with you, uh, don't let him know. It seems like he might be a little bit angry or violent and you don't want to agitate. You know, you don't want to poke the lion for sure. You don't want to poke a lion. Boink, boink. Don't do it. Okay. But if you can do it like without him knowing, that is probably the best bet. And just do what you can to get out as soon as you can. Okay, going to go to callers now. First caller is uh, 205. 205, what's your name and where are you calling from? My phone is 205. Hi, Tony. This is Patricia Collins from Alabama. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely. As always, it's my pleasure. Uh, the pleasure is all mine. My Love. pleasure is... <laughs> Go ahead. Can you hear me okay, Tony? I can. Can you okay. hear me? And so, okay. I know I've talked to you about this <laughs> um, with the home, with my home and the, the negotiation with the homeowner's insurance. We have finally received funds. Um, my lawyer and I, over the asking amount, they have paid over that amount. Um, but it's possible that we're probably going to have to sue for the rest of the amount that was awarded by the umpire there. So now that we've got some of the money and um, working with the mortgage company, uh, when do you see the mortgage company signing a check? Because that was just needing them to sign a check, my attorney and then myself. And then the money can be released. Um, so, um, when do you see? So the first thing I hear is tomorrow. And we all know when I hear tomorrow doesn't mean tomorrow. It means within a very short period of time. It's just kind of sitting on somebody's desk. So let's like get that going. I'm going to help. Uh, I'm going to ask that they clear anything holding this up. There's something. Yeah, there is something holding it up. <clears throat> So let's clear that. And then I'm also going to ask that. Um, yeah, you know what? As soon as this comes through, it's like it opens. It's like what I see in front of you, love, is like all these storm clouds, right? So let's clear all the storm clouds. Let's For you, everybody listening, watching, re-listening. So in front of you are all these storm clouds. Like there's a big storm coming in, and normally they're in the sky, but these clouds are on the ground. As soon as they sign this check, it's like it starts a new cycle for you. And the the storm clouds, they don't even dissipate. It's like they were never there in the first place and everything goes and it's it's over. And then you get to start a new cycle and it is um, 
something that puts you in a much better place. And then they're saying, and I laugh at this, I laugh at this so hard, make better decisions in this big thundering voice. And I'm like, well, if we could have, we would have. <laughs> like nobody's out it's here willy-nilly making bad decisions by choice. Like, oh, that looks like a bad decision. I think I'm going to jump on that and ride that all the way to the finish line. <laughs> Woohoo! No, nobody, <laughs> spirit, nobody's out here doing that, okay? We're not. We're not. It might look like a yummy decision that we should not be riding all the way to the way, but, but we're not going, ah, oh, this looks like it's going to totally F up my life. Let me grab on and not let go. It's so funny when spirit is like, make better decisions. Like, really? Like, seriously? <laughs> okay, so the message here is <laughs> moving forward. Your grandpa, yes. I'm going to guess your grandpa or your dad had a very thundery, thick voice. And one somebody up there <laughs> is saying, um, like, think, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to say it because the jokes that would come off of that are just way too many. Um, uh, it, it, but they want you to know it's them. Like I, when things come in now, just go a little slower, slower with your actions and allow yourself to be in that space where you're really taking the time to understand if um, this is going to go down the road you want it to. Okay, love? Yes. And I, yes. I'm going to, I know that you didn't call about this. I know this is not what you called for, but I'm just going to say it regardless. Um, I really feel like it, this has something to do with a potential or a current partner. So I think the house thing was one message, but the make better decisions or take your time in deciding. And I know you didn't ask about this, but they're not letting it go. So I'm going to keep, well, you know me, if they say it, I repeat it. That's just who I am. Um, that's why they, you know what, that's why they won't trust me with secrets anymore. Because I blurb them out. On two weeks ago, I did a show. I think it was two weeks ago or last week I did a show and I I think I said something I wasn't supposed to and my YouTube was cut completely off. <laughs> and I knew I was like, I don't I don't think I'm supposed to say it. And then there it went right out of my mouth. Well, do you know what? You say it, I repeat it. It's just the way it goes. Um, I feel like this has to do with a, 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 a potential partner coming in. Okay, so if you're not in a relationship right now, or if you're, not, okay, I'm going to say this two ways. If you're not in a relationship right now, the person coming in really um, examine it like a, like a car you're about to buy. Don't, don't just get in and take a ride. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Because <laughs> you don't want to find out when you're going 50, the brakes don't work. <laughs> Somebody up there is bringing the jokes so, all day. It's so funny you said that, Tony, because I have been dating a lot of suitors. I mean, yeah, I have, and I'm not, you know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, figure out if I connect with any. I'm up to about seven within the last couple of months that I've, you know, since I've been going to karaoke and I've been going out to the chat. And so I've made, met about seven or eight guys and I'm just trying to get a feel. And then it seemed like some of the ex um, dating okay. partners, they are calling me something. I, what is going on here? You know, I must be in that time and season so it's so funny that you brought that up because I haven't been in a long in a relationship in about five years 
long term, but I have been dating off and on, and now I feel like I'm ready for my long term partner. So okay. you do see him coming in. I see. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say it like this: There is somebody coming in that has the potential to be a long term partner, but there's somebody coming in that's going to be riding. I'm so sorry. I have to say it this way. If I offend anybody, I apologize. They're going to be riding on bullshit. <laughs> They're just going to be riding on that bullshit. <laughs> they are going to be riding high and tall on They're that gonna bullshit. Be riding <laughs> oh my goodness. What They're... are they going to be riding, Cody? And, well, let me say there's somebody, this is a person that you have not met yet. This is somebody that's coming in, somebody brand spanking new. They're going to be coming in and they are going to seem very, very sincere. Okay. Extremely sincere. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tell you, they, they probably are not as sincere as they are coming off. Um, it's one of these situations where they're going to come in. They're going to be very um, charismatic, uh, but not too much. They know just the right, like a, a, a little more sophisticated, which makes you think, oh, well, they're more mature and they're more sophisticated, but still running on that game. OK, so if you if you take that away and you really look at it and you feel it, you're going to know. Now, after that person, someone's coming in in June on the. I see the 15th. I hear the. I see the 15th and I hear the 15th, but I see the 8th being prominent, but the 15th. Someone's going to come in in June right around the 15th, maybe even on the 15th. And this person is um, a more prominent person for your life. This person is going to help you move forward in the way of love. This person isn't as Rico Suave as some of the other people that might um, step in. In some ways, that's a really good thing. Okay. In some ways, mm -hmm. yeah. we don't want that guy that has used all the lines on everybody and knows what to say and how to say it. We're done with Rico and Suave <laughs> and his brother Carlos. Okay. We're done with all of that. <laughs> we're moving into the Urkels now. It's time for the Urkels to step up. <laughs> yes. Whatever that means for whoever. <laughs> Whoever's there. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to say, <laughs> so not eloquently apparently, is that... Um, First person coming in is probably not the person, especially if, um, you know, I always say this and I'm going to say it again. If your panties automatically fall off when they show up, that's not the guy because that's not the, that's not the area of your body. You should be, they should be, you know, it should be more of a mind heart thing before it's of a J thing. That's just. Okay, because right. oh, they are not letting this go. I keep thinking I'm going to end it and they just keep going. Anybody can hit the Vijay. Anybody can make that Vijay say, Wah! okay, seriously, God. Mm -hmm. but not everybody I'm can not hit that. I'm not looking for that. Right. And not everybody can hit that heart genuinely. And not everybody can have that conversation that stimulating conversation, make you laugh, have your same sarcastic, whatever personality, that that's one in like 10,000. And you know what? We can teach. <laughs> we can, I don't want to say this on the air. <laughs> in the area of the J, <laughs> that is all like learning to work with each other. Anyway, so let's move on now. Okay, there is your message for the day. <laughs> I hope you enjoy that, love. I hope that was good for you. I hope it was as good for you as it was for me. I always, I always enjoy how real you are, Tony. Uh, your messages, I love them. 
and you know just how to deliver the message from, you know, from the spirit, even if it's funny or, <laughs> you know, if it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I love that you still deliver it, you know, and um, so thank you so much for, you know, just your realness. And, um, you know, just um, your gift, Tony. Oh, I'm my gosh. very grateful for you. Anytime I've come to you, you have hit everything on the nail. So thank you. I would like to remain on one. And um, I love you, Tony. Many blessings. And until the next time we speak, um, please take care. Thank oh, you my goodness, so much. sweetie. I love you so much, too. I hope that when this guy comes in, give it the 15th to the 18th. And I hope when this guy comes in, um, I know it's going to be good. Just get pat like this first guy coming in. Like, um, don't waste good lipstick on bad players is what I'm hearing. Okay. So just. Absolutely. We know what that means, right? We know what that means. So thank you again, love. Okay. I look forward to next time. And, um, and I hope that you have an amazing rest of the week. Thank you. You as well, Tony. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to take another caller in a moment. I, Jessica, what's up? Uh, uh, oh, you are so welcome. She's saying thank you so time for um, making time for all of us and sharing your gifts freely. I hope you enjoy this. Oh, Jess, thank you, sweetie. Thank you so much. It's absolutely my pleasure. And um, what good would they be if I kept them to myself, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, okay, Kate wants to say, um, hi, Tony, would you do a clearing about promoting myself? Yes, you, me, and the big old apple tree outside need to learn how to promote ourselves, right? Okay, I don't have an apple tree. I'm just saying. Um, promoting myself. For all the PR things you need to do when you're starting your own business. Okay, yeah. And actually, Kate, I did a uh, a, a clearing last mon Monday. I think it was Monday or last Wednesday on um, money and business. So please jump in on that. It's on TikTok. Okay, we know we are appropriate. We, we are... Okay, we are doing everything we need to do to appropriately promote ourselves, our business, and our brand. Even if the brand is ourself, I get a no. <laughs> you. <coughs> okay. And all that caused this and kept this has cleared, healed, and released. I'm getting a no. We intuitively follow all um, marketing and PR um, advice. Clear that. All that stopping blocking this has been healed, cleared, released. I get a no. Oh, mm. oh, my, my. Oh, my, my. my. Okay. Thank you for that. That was a goodie. That was yummy. That was good. Okay. I honestly don't know who's next. Okay. I think I know who's next. I'm going to go to 207. 207. What's your name and call? Uh, where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Melissa and I'm calling from Maine. Hey, Melissa from Maine. How can I help you today? Well, it was interesting. I tuned in. I didn't plan on calling him, but about 10 minutes before I tuned in, that song was in my head one night in Bangkok. Stop it! And I'm like, I gotta call. Oh my you know gosh! I was talking about going to prostitutes in Bangkok during the Vietnam War. And that song just popped in my head. Oh and my I used that. I'm like, I'm gonna call him. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! And here on the Tony G Show, you the Tony Green Show, you just never ever know what we're gonna get. And here it is. This is it. This is it. Okay. So thank you for calling in. Um, do you have a loved one you'd You're like? To, do you have a loved one you'd like to connect with, or a question about life, love, career, finances, anything of that order? 
Well, let me see if you can get in contact with my mother. Uh, I just need her first name, love. Pam or Pamela. Okay, Pam. Okay, so instantly I see a woman over here and she has a, like a an oval-shaped face, but you know how it's a little longer but thinner? Um, and I, this could be your mom or a grandmom, but there's, because there's a couple people that came in, but this woman was, like, is just sitting and kind of straight-faced, not very, um, ex no expression, just very straight-faced right now. Um near the end of her cheeks were sunk sunken in, but she still had really good cheekbones. And I feel like her skin tone was not pale, like you know me. She had some actual color to her. Um so that's yeah. the first person that I'm seeing. Does that describe your mother or a grandmother? Probably both. Oh, okay. Well, both. okay. Well, that's good. Well, the person who would have been the matriarch I'm hearing is the one showing up first. And then um, the other, there's another, and I keep hearing and a brother and a brother. I don't know if it's your mother's brother is with them or your, what your mother and a brother, mother and a brother. So there are three people here. My brother is still alive and it, my mother's brother is still alive. Okay, then I don't know, maybe it's your grandmother's brother or there's a mother and a brother. And I keep, I just keep hearing mother and a brother. So I don't know what that means for this. That's just what I'm hearing. Okay. So you might okay. figure it out later too. It might hit you later. Oh, okay. like, you know, sometimes people lose babies at birth or at, miscarriages or stuff like that and we it hits us later but this could be your grandmother's okay. whomever it is I'm just going to tell you what I'm hearing so that I can get to the actual yep. next part of this mother and a brother and then like another mother so there there's three people here for you and these three would it be great grandmother I'm sorry would it be a great grandmother it sure. It could be, it could be, but there's a male here and I feel like the male yep. was a, not the male that's showing up is not a father or grandfather. It was either an uncle or oh. a great or a great, would that be a great uncle? Whatever. It, it's just, it's not yeah. a father. The, the male that's here right now is not wow, this is very complicated and it should not be this complicated. So I'm just going to, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I'm just going to back it up and I'm going to say yeah. there are three people, two women and a man, not a father or a grandfather, but that's just who they are. And this is what I'm going to say about their message. <clears throat> the biggest, <laughs> I'm so sorry because that song is coming in again. Okay, so they're starting off with the song. Wasn't it strange? The, the, they're, they're starting off with the song One Night in Bangkok, and then they're going to into the next thing that they're going into is I had the time of my life. <laughs> so somebody, oh, righteous product. Yeah. somebody up mm. there is like, I don't know why these songs are coming through for you, but they are. Um, and then your mom and your grandmom, or the the your the women, the two women up here, definitely want to let you know you're on the right track. Don't fall back. It's okay to add a little bit of fun in your life. Just make it like, um, I, I don't know, like nice, clean, good fun. Like find ways to have fun that are yeah. really productive and constructive. And to start that project you've yeah. been wanting to start. There's a project you've been wanting to start. Start it. Don't don't hesitate anymore. Whatever this is, I feel like it could be a project. They're calling it a project, but it could be a business. It could definitely 100% be a business. And it could be something that if it starts off as a project and heads into a business, it's going to be something that is very uh, pr 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 
productive and very um like if you're watching me i'm doing my money my money thing it bringing in a lot of money for you it's going to be very productive and very uh financially lucrative down the line so whatever this is get uh, get down on it that's their the song that comes through for that okay. so please uh please okay. consider that okay okay love okay Thank you so much. You are so welcome. I hope that this was good for you and you enjoyed it. And I look forward yeah, to next time. I do. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-91301. Um, Sal, welcome to the show. Um Okay, Kate, I hope that clearing, th Kate says about the clearing, thank you, that was very strong. It was, right? That was a hella, hella, hella clearing. Hella, hella, hella. Uh, <clears throat> oh, the, the her Wi-Fi slowed down while the clearing was going on. Oh, am I cutting, am I buffering again? I'm so sorry, you guys, if I'm buffering. I There's only so much I have control of with the show. In my life, apparently nothing. <laughs> I have control over nothing in my personal life. But in the show, I try to, you know, there's not a lot I can do about like internet and YouTube and all the other things. So I, I hope you can at least understand the show a little bit. Um, so, okay, I'm going to go to the next person who is, I think, 914, 914. 914. Okay, 914, please. Hi, thank you so much for taking my call. Absolutely, my pleasure. If you're listening to Hello? me in the background, can you please turn that all the way down? I think it's a problem with my phone. Is this better? That's, I think that's better. Yep, yep. Okay, sweetie, what's your name and where are you calling thank from? My name is Catherine, and I'm calling from New York. How are you today? I'm good, Catherine. How are you, love? A lot of stuff is going on. Um, uh, um, a little bit of everything is kind of happening in my life. Um, I'm dealing with house repairs. Um, an aunt is um, possibly passing, so it's just a lot on, on top Aww. of work, too. Um, so I was just wondering, please... Um, with work um i'm doing a project with a man named neil i was wondering if you see it going well if it'll be for our benefit um if we'll get funding for it um anything you might pick up around it i appreciate okay so the project that you're doing with neil is going to bring in um so I, the way I'm hearing it might not be the way I, I just hear substantial rewards. Now, I don't know what this oh. means for funding, if it means funding recognition or what it means. I just hear it means so I'm just hearing substantial rewards. Now, the one thing they are saying is um, make sure you're presenting all of your ideas or your end of everything in paper. OK, in and when I say paper, I mean, put your name on it, put spit your name on everything, like make sure your name is on everything you're bringing to the table in a PDF form so it can't be taken off. I don't know why they're saying that, but when they say it, I say it. You get it. You're meant to. Yeah, yeah. He's a little bit. Um, he's the boss type attitude. So I can see and like, yeah, and I could be like muted by his attitude a bit. Um, or more importantly, yeah. sweetie, more importantly, somebody might, somebody, somebody, I'm not saying who might try to take your ideas and say they were theirs or take credit for your ideas. So whatever you're presenting, whatever mm -hmm. you're bringing to the table, whatever you're putting in, whatever it is, Make sure your name is on it and even carbon copy it to somebody else in the group with your name on it so that it is it ever is so people know what you're bringing to the table. Because at the end of the day, the biggest insult 
is not that somebody stole your idea, which it, that is insulting, but people thinking you didn't add anything is even more insulting, especially if it's something that went far. Sit down, brainstorm, put everything in, and then present it, but present it in, again, what I'm calling paper form or making sure, you know, don't just verbalize things. Because I, I'm going to, here's a good, right, good example. Right. I was at this, um, I was at this conference once and I was telling somebody about this healing experience that I had personally experienced that angels had brought through me where I brought back all parts, pieces, particles, blah, 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 blah. And it was such a profound experience. And I was sharing it with a presenter at this conference and this presenter said to me, yeah, I have to go in this room and da, da, da. I don't know what I'm going to do. And we sit down and this mofro, this mofro sits down and <laughs> does my experience that I just did. And here I am waiting for any inkling of pointing to me saying, oh yeah, I just heard about this from her. She, she shared this with me. I want to share. No, he said, and this just came to me. Yes, from me, Mofro. It came to, to you from me, Mofro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? And it was like such a like crazy lesson to just like shut your mouth, open your ears and watch people unless you put it on paper and present it as yours first. And that's the exact thing I'm getting for you. You need to sit down and wow. anything you present for this. And part of the reason being not only you don't want somebody taking credit, but you want to let them know what you're bringing, how you're bringing it. So in the next one, you can be appropriately placed also. Okay, love? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, because I want to branch forward with other collaborators too. Yes, yes, exactly. Excellent. So make sure you're you're yeah. like putting your 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 name or your thing on everything. Okay, love? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry you had to go through that. Oh yeah. no, that was a long time ago. Not a big deal. It was it was a very valuable lesson. We can learn lessons easily or we can learn lessons like that. And it's in the scheme of things that was that was a really good lesson, actually. So there's that, right? Mm -hmm. And yes, you, yes, exactly. You have a very amazing rest of the day and good luck with your project. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for all you do and much love and blessings to you. Thank you. You are welcome and God bless you too, love. God bless you too. I'm going to go directly to 651. 651, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Christiana. I'm calling from Minnesota. Hey there. How can I help you? Um, I was just wondering if my son Taylor had any message message for me from the other side. Yeah. About um Go ahead, love. Oh. Well, I'm wondering about um having children in within the next couple of years. If he has any information. <laughs> I was okay. wondering. So I want to make sure I get this straight. You want to, I want to make sure I'm answering correctly. You want to know if any children are coming in from you personally, right? Like you're going to have children or are you yeah, talking for, about for me to conceive? Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, um, these are always really challenging messages because we can change our destiny in a lot of different ways and there's a lot of different things. I do feel like you are going to get, um, you're going to be able to get pregnant the full term or is going to be very, very challenging. Um, so just give me a second here because what, I know what I'm seeing. It's almost like there's something 
I'm not really, please forgive my, when I'm saying this, please forgive me. It's like, it's something's trying to get through and it's too small and it can't get through. Like it's, and I don't know what this is, but what I'm going to do, and I can't guarantee anything's going to work here, but for you and anybody else trying to um, get pregnant, have a healthy pregnancy and give birth to healthy babies. Let's do clear anything stopping or blocking this. Let's clear all that has caused this and kept it. And this is a big one. And I, I'm literally like my parts of parts, parts of my body, like are literally like um, shaking a little bit. So whatever is clearing here is very, well, there's a lot of different words I could use. And for everybody who's receiving this, it's going to be different. Oh, these clearings today are, whew, holy guacamole, chips and salsa. That's all I'm saying. Oh, with a banana split on the side. Holy. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know where the banana, the banana split came from my mama. <laughs> she loves her some banana splits and she's on the other side. <laughs> So that I think the banana split came from her. Um, and then I'm feeling pain like in certain parts of my body as this clears. And again, this isn't any, this is not a guarantee that this is going to completely fix and or um, make this a possibility. But if it, if it can, this, if, if it can work, we're going to see what I'm seeing I see a man or a, yeah, I see a, on the other side, I see a younger adult and then I see a child being held, like a, a young child, and then I see some babies. So I don't know for you personally if this is, huh, um, I don't want to guess what that means because that could mean a lot of things. But what I'm going to say moving forward, um, it's still going to be a very delicate situation. And I do feel like it might be complicated, a complicated situ situation moving forward. <sighs> okay, there goes a lot of it. Um, and if you're feeling this clearing, it's okay that you share anything that you may also be feeling with this. Um, is it her okay. to yeah, I felt it come up through my throat and I exhale so I could feel it. Thank you. Now, there's something going on with your... I'm hearing reproductive system and, and I'm going to ask that the angels go in and clear that. And they're going, to, you might, you might literally feel some like movement, pushing, pulling stuff being like, I'm sorry for the graphic term. And I'm sorry if this triggers or makes anybody upset. Um, you might feel like an extraction of something like them, like going in and pulling something out and, and like, releasing it from you and for anybody else who is wanting to this please come back listen to this again or just allow it right now um i do feel like this is going to be something that is going to take a minute for it to completely it, it will be released by the end of today but it might take a full-on month before you feel different and you know there's a difference, like you have some confidence in the difference. But no matter what, if and when you decide to take that next step, you're still going to have to take all of the precautions. I mean, all of the precautions, okay? And this isn't only for you to be able to get pregnant and go full term, but also to have a healthy baby, Um so there's just one more thing we're going to, okay. um, and you, you guys, I don't show my hands when I'm doing this because it's like, I'm like doing something with my hands that would be considered like, what the heck? They're just pulling one more thing. 
And then the rest of it they're going to do, they're going to continue throughout um, the rest of the afternoon. So just kind of, you know, embrace. And if you feel something, know that that's what's going on. Okay, sweet girl? Okay. Okay. And thank you. You're welcome. And th they're sending so much love. The first thing is um, there the song that's coming through is um, I love you a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a peck, a bushel and a, I think that's how the song goes, but you know, I know you know the song, right? I don't, I try not to sing because like, I know I can't. I just know I can't. I have no, I can't be on beat. I can't, I don't have tone. I don't have any of it, but I love you. A bushel and a peck. Is that how, and something on the, something. Okay. Anyway, that's the song they're sending okay. down to you. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you for the reading. Oh, you're so welcome. I hope this helps and please keep us posted. Okay. Okay. Thank you, love. Yes, thank you. You are welcome. Okay, there are some new people that have joined us. Kim, how are you? Sue McCarthy. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming on in. If you have a question, you can post it uh, um, in the chat. If you'd like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. And that is not, but but if you want a private session, the private sessions, you go to my site, www. Yes, I am that old. I still do that, www. Plus, I like the way it rolls off my tongue. It's the only time I can literally roll my tongue. www.tonig.info. Um, you can go to my site. All the information is there about scheduling with me. And then uh, you call 414-897-2869 to actually schedule the appointment. I'm going to go to the very next caller who is 818, um, 845. 845, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name Hi, how are you? My name is Maria. I hey. call from New York. How are you? I'm good, Maria. How are you? I'm a little bit uh, right now. I'm a little bit sad. Sad. I, I I don't even know myself. I feel this or cry. Okay. Still, I got a trouble on my roof. Yeah. And nobody can do it. Okay, Maria. And I don't know. The trouble I got is the company with the letter T. You say anything? Okay, so I got a mess in the house. So Maria, um, uh, I know that we've discussed your roof before. So what I'm going to do, Maria, rather than us talking about your roof again, I'm simply going to clear that the best possible person comes in and helps you with the roof, and that right now. Um, um, Maria's getting help with her roof. I get a no. Let's clear that. All the funds are coming through. I get a no. The insurance company. We're just going to clear everything so that hopefully it's the right person will come through and help you, Maria. Um, one of the things that I'm getting is that um, somebody is going to come in and help you. I think maybe... All that's stopping or blocking this from being done has been cleared, healed, and released. I get a no. Okay, Maria, I'm I'm just going to do clearings for you today rather than answer the question again because I know we've addressed this question once or twice already on the air. So I'm hoping that the clearings will help you get to what you need with this. Okay, love? Yes, okay, thank you. Are you see me you see me if you feel like gonna go in and tell you. Yeah, that's gonna happen when you start making the moves towards it. Um you know, they're showing me a a chess chess board, like you play chess, right? And you can imagine the game in your head for as long as you want. You can imagine I'm gonna move my pawn here in my bishop there and my 
this there and this there, and then my queen will take the, their whatever, okay? I, and I don't know chess very well, so I don't know why they're mm -hmm. using this with me. But until you make a move, nothing can happen. Until you move that first pawn or that first horse on the board, um, nothing's going to happen. So, Maria, you can imagine this move to Italy. You can imagine the all of these things. Um but you have to actually start making the moves. You actually have to start packing things up and getting rid of what you're not going to take with you. You actually have to start talking to to to, to people about how how are you going to uh, get rid of everything in your home and then go there and start over. You have to actually start making the moves, and it is up to you. No, unfortunately, Maria, and I'm so sorry you're in a position where you're kind of doing this alone but right now nobody's going to come in and do these things for you and i know that's a horrible space to be especially at this time but i'm going to tell you maria start doing the things start packing up things and letting go of things you're not going to take with you to italy or you're not going to use in italy start uh letting go of things that you no longer need and get it down to the minimum and then start getting ready and looking at once you get to Italy, where are you going to be and what are you going to do? Um, because, Maria, nothing is going to happen until you move the first horse or pawn or whatever it's called on the board. You're in charge of all the movements. And no matter who you call or who you talk to or who you ask to help you, unfortunately, at this time, they're saying you're the one and I, I wish I wish I was in New York. I would I would do my best to help you. Unfortunately, I'm I'm not there. And it's up to you. You unfortunately you have to make all these moves on your own love. And it's really hard. I know it would be if I I'm a, I'm I'm probably maybe a year younger than you, beautiful woman. But if if I were trying to make a move to another country, it would be so overwhelming to me. Um, especially if I had not been there or lived there in a bit of a time. And so for you to make this move at your precious mature age by yourself and having to do everything, I can't even imagine how overwhelming that is for you. Um, and I know that it's very difficult to get help from people. Um, everybody has so much going on in their life. So I'm going to also do a clearing for you that everything opens up and helps you to, to make the move you need, that anything stopping or blocking this move be cleared. And Maria, um, there might be resources that can help you to to make these moves, an organization like here, we have the ICC, the Italian Community Center, where younger people will reach out and help people in the community, the Italian community, um, the Melitzizi Club. Um, maybe in New York, there are some organizations like that or some clubs or groups. It doesn't even have to be an organization. It can be a club or a group that will help you to uh, just organize things and get to where you need to be. Uh, usually, I know the Italians, I know any ethnic group I know, they're very much willing to step in and help anybody from their country. So I feel like if you kind of look around, like maybe go to a, uh, an Italian bakery or where it's old school Italian, not new school Italian, old school Italian, there are going to be some resources there to, or maybe a meat market or a deli. There's going to be somebody there that can help you. Okay, love. Thank you. You're Thank so, you so much. God bless you. Well, God bless you too. And don't Thank forget. You so much. And my, I love you. Oh my goodness. I love you too. I Thank wish you. I could. Thank you. I wish I could give you the biggest hug, Maria. I wish I could. I wish I could help you. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not closer Thank to help you. I know it must be overwhelming Thank to you. Thank you. You are welcome. And please don't forget to call back on um, Monday because I will, every time I see your number, if I can, I will take that call. I'm going to go to the very next caller, uh, 203, 203. What's your name and where are you calling from? 
Hello, Tony. It's Pat from hey. Connecticut. Hey, Pat. How can I help you today? Um, I have questions. Um, Chance, my dog, is losing uh, muscle in his hind legs. Um, and I came across some people on Facebook talking about two products I wanted to ask you about. One is Myos, and it comes in two strengths. One is prescription, and it's it's um, it's actually brings back muscles. I can't think of the correct words. Um, let's see. Uh, and then um, there's another one that people are talking about, Morgina, which I have used but never knew if it did anything, and I'm not sure if okay. that's for um, bringing back muscles or not, but... The first product tests a yes. The second product tests a no. And I think, um, Pat, one of the things, one of the messages I'm getting for you is just to prepare right now. Um, I know. I know. I know. Sweetie, I'm so I sorry. Know. You know what, yeah. Pat? Can you call me after the show? Just call me as, as a... Don't don't worry about it being a session. Just call me after the show. There's a couple of things I want to tell you after the show that I think will be. Um, I just don't want to say I don't want you to I don't want to do that on the air with you. OK, love, I don't I don't want to do okay. it on the air okay. with you. So Thank after you. the show, give me I a call, will call you. Thank and, you and we'll have a short conversation. But I don't will. don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Be happy. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Be happy. Thank <laughs> and you so much. and I, I will talk to you in a few minutes. Okay, beautiful girl. All right. God okay. bless. Thank you. God bless, love. Uh, okay, I want to get to the questions on YouTube. I'm so sorry, Joy. Uh, if you have time, I wanted to ask about a friend of mine. Okay, Joy, um, I wanted to know if my friend Kiana told her cousin not to be friends with me. No, her cousin is just has a very particular little attitude and personality. That's it. She just be snarky like that. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Not. I don't want to use the word snarky. I'm just saying she's just, she just has a very particular personality. That's what I'm getting, Joy. I hope that helps. Um, Isabella, does my dad have any messages for me? His name was Doug. Hey, Doug. Doug is here. Your dad has this big, bold, verbose personality. He's like, get the party started <laughs> as soon as he walks into the, the room here. The biggest, for, the biggest, the biggest, I don't know why I can't talk. Like all of a sudden my words are mixing. Um, Isabella, um, here's what I'm going to say. Oh. You're, okay. So Isabella, the message that the first song your dad is bringing through is I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I don't know if this is something going on in your life right now, or this is how you feel losing your dad, or this has some more to do with you because he's in a really good place. He's, he's, um, you know, he's whole again. That's the best way I can describe him. He's whole again. 90. And, oh, okay. Hey, Morningstar. Uh, uh, And he wants you to know that he is with you and he's helping you resolve. You know, he's helping you resolve whatever this is seconds. going on in your life. And it should be over within a week. And definitely over in a month, like within a week, you should be over the hump. And then within a month, it should be completely there. Okay. There might be some residual, but the majority of it will be like I'm seeing being vacuumed away. Okay, love. I hope that really helps for you. Thank you, everybody, so much.